For step one of section three, you're going to put the two halves of the body together, making sure that the joints on the crankshaft and on the front of the piece in question are facing in the same direction. Before attaching, fold the rubber band into two loops. And then attach the rubber band so that it looks like this. For step two of section three, you're going to insert the long shafts into the body of the robot so that they're sticking out on both ends. For step three of section three, you're going to attach the stoppers to the ends of the joints on both sides of the body of the robot. There should be six in total. Step three complete. Section three is now complete. On to section four. For step one of section four, you are going to attach the double-sided tape provided to the wheel so that it covers the protrusions and then attach the blades of the fans so that the holes in the blades line up with the protrusions on the wheel. So that it looks like this. For step two of section four, you're going to attach the cogwheel shaft to the frame of the robot. When attaching the cogwheel shaft, make certain you're doing so on this side of the frame of the robot. After inserting the shaft, turn it 90 degrees so that it locks into place. For step three of section four, attach the small wheel to the center and after doing so, attach the large wheel to the cogwheel shaft that you attached in the previous step. For step four of section four, you're going to take a small piece of rubber tubing and attach that to the small shaft so that it looks like this. And now take this shaft and run it through the fan and attach the fan to the side of the robot that has the wheels on it. And now your robot is complete. No batteries are required because this awesome robot is powered by wind. If there is no wind for your robot, remember, remove the fan and use the two remaining parts in the kit to assemble a little action rod to power the robot.